Hey all, Russ here of ATV. Good morning. Today is Monday, February 4th. I'm going to head up here to Parker. Got some errands to do. Got a little shopping. Think you guys might want to come along for a ride. Had that storm come through Saturday night. It did dump some rain. Check out the clouds. Aren't those cool? Kind of remnants from uh, the storms. All week long we're supposed to be having uh, fronts move through. I don't think it's going to bring us a ton of rain. Definitely going to bring it wind and cooler temperatures. They'll get more rain up in the mountains and whatnot. Town is still busy. There's RVs running all over the place. Most of the RV parks still have quite a few in them. It's just the huge volume of people <laughs> is gone man that was intense during those big shows man that is just a sea of RVs if you've never seen it or experienced you gotta come try it at least one time it's unbelievable okay right up here on the left on the right there's that RV pit stop but there on the left where that sign is is Miner's Depot and guess what Gold Show starts this Friday February 8th through the 10th at the QIA I will be there filming it I'll get more details in another video out about all that there will be manufacturers like Mine Lab, Garrett, White all them guys there all different kinds of mining equipment demonstrations, how to pan all that stuff Pretty cool. Okay, this is Arizona 95 North. Heading up towards Parker, right there on the left, that's a refuse station where you can bring your trash for free. If you're boondocking and the dumpster, dumpsters are full, bring it on out here. Sunday through Wednesday they're open. And right here on the right is High Jolly. Quite a few rigs still out here. You know, a lot of people wait to come to Quartzite after the big shows. And they'll stay down in Yuma during the big shows and then come up this way. I just watched a video about all the BLM land down in Yuma. They just exploded this last week. It is packed, kind of like Quartzite was a couple weeks ago. So everybody herded down there. Mexico's busy. Algodonas. Speaking of Algodonas, I'll be heading down there next week. Finally get all my dental work finalized. Okay, we're passing Plumosa Road on the right. All the healing's done. Looking forward to just getting it behind me now. So I'll be down there Tuesday, Wednesday, I believe. Alright, I had to turn off the camera. I had a phone call come in. I had to take it. We're getting up closer. Look, sunshine, sunshine is popping through. We're getting up close to the traffic light where you turn off for Parker. And this has been one busy highway, too. Right here to the right, that's the main dump. That's the Parker Refuse Station. So a lot of people go there too. But I like coming up here early. Kind of beat the crowd. By noontime, uh, all these stores up here in Parker are packed. Okay, this is one of the few traffic lights in the desert. <laughs> up here is Highway 72 and 95 meet. We'll make a left. Then we're going to head on into Parker. We're still got about 10, 11 miles into Parker. Man, look at the load of that wood on that thing. There's a whole roof. All the trusses. Big load right there in that truck. That is a power transfer station. If you went straight, that road dead ends. There's a power transfer station up there. It feeds off the Parker Dam. 
over by Lake Havasu. Big transmission lines run through here. All right, this is Highway 72 and 95. We're heading into towards Parker. And that sunshine's feeling good. Okay, we're getting in. This is all Indian Reservation land up here. It's the Crit Colorado River Indian Tribes. Covers over 600 square miles. Goes all the way down to I-10. Clear over into California a little bit and all along the Colorado River. And we're just a few miles out right now. I don't know how well the camera's picking it up, but over there to the left, did you see all the greenery? There's just a ton of agriculture that follows along the Colorado River, too. Tens of thousands of acres over there, just nothing but ag. All the way down to I-10 on down. Okay, right up here on the right, here's Shea Road. That's where the van build was back in November. Jamie and his van build. They did pretty good out there. They had a lot of people show up for that. Jamie's a good guy. If you ever get a chance, watch his channel. Ingematic, Nomadic. Okay, we're getting in here to Parker. Let's check, see what the fuel price is up here. This big building on the right is Bradley Chevrolet. I've had my van, like, service, you know, oil changes and stuff there. It's pretty good. Okay, running man fuel, two, look at that, 243. That's 16 cents cheaper than quartzite. <laughs> look at this traffic light, it's brand new. They just put this in, they needed it too. Sat there forever. That road right there actually will take you all the way down to I-10. It's called Poston Road in Arizona 1. In the big town of Parker. It's kind of a railroad town. The tracks do run through. Big post office up here on the left. They got car parts like AutoZone, Napa, right up here is also on the left hand side. Saturday they had the Por Parker 425 races. They closed down the street right here. This was the start of them. I wanted to film it, but I just the weather wasn't good, and I just didn't have enough time this year. I filmed it twice. If you go back in the playlist of my videos, you'll see that it's in there twice. It's called the Parker 425, and that's sponsored by Blue Water Casino. All right, we're going to make a right up here. This is Riverside Drive, and actually it continues on. It's still... Uh, Highway 95. And about two miles down here is our first stop, which will be Walmart. The overshopped Walmart. You know that Walmart's small. It's probably one of the smallest ones I've ever been in. And you got all the fast food guys up through here, gas stations. There is a FedEx and a mail drop up here on the right hand side. Woody's fuel, look at that, 243, that still amazes me. Boat storage, this is a huge boat in town. Town park right there on the left, good place to walk your doggy. Okay, here we are, Walmart. Yay. <laughs> Look at all the rigs parked in the parking lot. My goodness. They got a few overnighters. People are traveling. Hey, stay for free. And even that's becoming fewer and fewer now. A lot of Walmarts and towns won't let you overnight in the parking lots. They claim too many people taking advantage. Staying permanent. Living too long. Instead of just overnighting it. Looks like them clouds are getting out of here. It's going to clear up a little bit better. Okay, I want to swing over to the other side of the parking lot. 
I am going to get parked. I'm going to leave you, but I'll be back. <laughs> Go shop. Be back in a few. Well, $78 later. <laughs> Goodness gravy. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, well, I guess I needed everything. <laughs> Nothing's cheap anymore, is it? Go to Walmart. At least they had stuff on their shelves. A lot of times you come in this one and uh, the shelves are empty. It's so overshopped. It's a small Walmart. And look at all the RVs. They're spending the night. Okay, got one more stop down the street here. On the other side over there is Safeway. I mean, they got great shopping, but kind of pricey. Okay, I'm gonna stop up here at the Colorado River Indian Hardware Store. They got pretty good prices, good place to buy. It's actually a best hardware. So I'm going to run in there and get a few things and I shall return. I'll tell you what I get in a minute. Ta da! I'm going to start to build out the van. There's the start of it. I'm going to put in a wood floor gonna build this thing out so we can go traveling and make it like a little camper <laughs> so I'm gonna do a whole series of videos on building this thing out been thinking about it might as well do it I'm not going to build it to live in. I'm going to build it to, to travel in. Big difference. I'm keeping the motor home and cargo trailer, all that. So nothing that none of that's going to change. Be a fun project. I have most of everything already to do it. I needed the wood. I'm going to put some new carpet in. Odds and ends, we'll make videos about it. It'll be fun. All right, tomorrow I'll put out a video about the gold show, all the details, location, all that. This is Russ signing off now. Hope everyone has a great day. Don't forget to travel safe. Talk soon. Take care.